Hey guys, Phantom Z on the X18 here with another video today, another toy review of the Ultra Hero series, Ultra Hero 500 series, I mean. <laughs> um, Ultraman Ginga Victory, but in um, transparent yellow, transparent plastic. So yeah. I don't know the name, I just got this figure out of Mandrake and I got it because it looks really awesome. So yeah. Anyways, before we take a look at this figure, let's take a look at the tag he came with. But unfortunately, he didn't hit, came with no tag. But I got the packaging where it came from. Yeah, it's just stuff in Japanese that I cannot read. I don't know what this is from. I, I think it says his name right here, Ultraman Ginga Victory. Um, I don't know what it says right there. So yeah, that's the packaging. Band Bandai logo and the uh, Ultra Hero of Avengers series logo on the top, and Ultraman Ginga Victory something version. I don't know. I call it the yellow transparent plastic version. So yeah guys, uh, you might be wondering why does it have the Ginga um, um, DX Ginga Spark M behind? Well, it's because... Yeah, the problem that I have with this figure is just he doesn't stand well. See, he just falls. Like Even when I try to like bend the plastic a bit, like for like a few seconds so he can like stand up a bit for a few seconds but unfortunately he just falls back down what a bummer so yeah um anyways let's get in closer so we could take a look at all that detail and unfortunately this figure isn't painted like glitter or gold therefore the details cannot be seen that much i mean if you, if you have good eyes i mean you can certainly see the details You can certainly see the details out there. You can see, you can make out the eyes, the mouth, the ears, the chest, color timer. So yeah, I mean, this figure's been cast in yellow transparent plastic with some type of glitter gold around it. And I gotta say, it looks really nice. And to me, it kind of looks like a hologram of Ginga Victory or maybe glitter Ginga Victory. I bet those forms can beat Godzilla. You can still make out some of the nice details he put into the figure. So yeah, my only criticism with this figure overall, I just wish I had some gold paint to like, you know, shine some details out. We'll get into a comparison in a bit, I'll let you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I really like all the, the, the glitter around the figure, making it look a bit glittery. As if Glitter Ult Ultraman Ginga Victory has turned into Glitter Mode by the powers of Ultraman Dyna, Gaia, and Tiga. Since they had Glitter Forms. Not sure if you can see all the detailing they did to the figure. And as you can see, he has a life scan. So that's exciting. So yeah. Articulation wise, the arms can do a full 360. Same thing goes with the other arm. And the waist can like rotate 360. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, uh, time for some size comparisons. I'm sorry I have to cut out, I have to cut down the sounds, it's because I recorded it a bit early. And a family member was talking in the background, so yeah, sorry, I'm gonna have to be like, you know, silence the uh, size comparison.
Now, considering he has a life scan, therefore, you can see, if, you, if you can see it right there, he has a life scan. Does that, that means he works with the Genghis Park. So yeah, that's the sounds it makes on the Gingo Spark. It, I'm kind of mixed about it. Um, on the one hand, it's kind of decent, where it doesn't say Ultra Life, um, Ultra Hero. It just says Ultra Hero. I'm I'm guessing this is one of those figures that if you went to the theaters of Ginga um, as the movie, you'll get a free figure. Or I'm guessing that's what it is, because you know sometimes these um exclusive um either medals or cards if you enter a movie of that specific show I think they'll give you like a gimmick or something or um it pretty much just makes generic sounds but you still get it because you went to the theater to see it I'm guessing that's what it is but I don't know this is just a weird like thing um this is weird oh yeah uh sorry um for the comparison I mean my only criticism with this figure overall I just wish I wish it had some gold paint Therefore, um, here, let me give you an example. Ultraman Zero right here is a transparent figure. But when you turn it back, it literally has no color. I mean, I don't mind that considering there's a lot of details being shown on the front. But unfortunately for this figure, there is, like, the entire figure is like this side of the figure of Zero. Nothing is painted. I mean, if they painted the eyes white and the color timer white, I wouldn't mind. I mean, that would have been better. But... Yeah, they just left this figure in transparent plastic instead of painting it gold like this one. I really prefer this over that one, but I got this figure because I really like Ginga. He was one of my first Ultras into the Ultraman fandom. I mean, yeah. It's a mix for me. I mean, if you find one for a really decently good price, I suggest go for it since it's a good price. A cheaper price, but if it's like higher, like $50 or more, I say don't get it. I mean, if you have the... I mean, if you have... Hang on, if you have um, this version, the one with the live scan or not, this is better than this one. Unless you want to have it in your like shelf as like Glitter Ginga Victory or... Yeah, I mean, I highly pr recommend Zero Transparent Figure with the Z, Z Metal of Zero Tenth Anniversary over this one. He just makes generic sounds, while this one that has the Z, the Z Metal of Zero Tenth Anniversary, he makes special sounds at least in the Z Riser. But yeah, anyways guys, as he falls down, um, thank you guys for watching this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well, all that will be linked down below, and yeah guys, I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you all in the next video, bye guys.